Do you ever wonder what the narcissist does when you go no contact with them? There are lots of videos out there that talk about what the narcissist is thinking and doing when they discard you. But what if you initiate no contact first? This happens more than you think. It happened in my case. So let's talk about that today. My name is Amy and this is Narcoway. If this is your first time to my channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My videos are devoted to educating, supporting, and encouraging victims and survivors of narcissistic abuse. Before we get started on the video, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to this week's subscriber of the week. This week's sub of the week is STX Pro 46, Micah. Micah comments on almost all of my videos and he is a very great supporter of the channel and I appreciate your support, Micah. So thank you for subscribing and thank you for being a part of this community. I'm going to tell you three things that the narcissist does when you go no contact with them. The first thing they do, number one, is they wait it out. It is a standoff. Everything with the narcissist is a game. Everything is very calculated, it's well thought out, and it is done with intention on the part of the narcissist. So if you have established no contact, they're just gonna wait it out. They're gonna wait and see who caves first. There is probably a threshold that has been set in your relationship by silent treatments where you are probably the one that caves first. The narcissist is notorious for giving silent treatments and it's a very effective way for them to get what they want because the victims, they can't stand it. It's torturous. It's painful. And we want to end the silent treatment as quickly as possible. And so once the narcissist digs their heels in and they've established that they're giving us the silent treatment, there's usually a set amount of time that we will let them go before we reach back out to them just to put an end to it. And they usually welcome us back with open arms because they've got what they wanted. To them, it's just another silent treatment. There's a set amount of time, whether it's a couple of days or a couple of weeks or even a couple of months, that they're gonna sit back and relax. They're not worried, they're not thinking of anything, they're doing whatever they wanna do, whether it's partying with their friends or doing whatever their hobbies are, or sitting at home alone, playing video games, watching TV, doing nothing. Whatever the narcissist does, Maybe they're going to search for new supply to occupy them in the meantime, but they're not worried. They know you're going to come back, or at least they think it. So that brings me to number two. What is the number two thing that narcissists do when you go no contact? Well, after that threshold has been met, the silent treatment threshold, and you don't reach out to them, they're gonna to start to panic. They are going to go into desperation mode. They are going to realize that you are maybe on to them. Maybe this is your way of exposing them. You're standing up for yourself by not groveling back to them. And this is going to scare them. This is where they're going to actually get a little bit worried that they're going to lose you as supply. They don't care about you or your feelings. Don't get this mixed up. And this is where I think a lot of people take satisfaction in knowing that the narcissist is hurting at this point. But the thing you have to remember is they're not hurting because of you. They're not missing you. They're not longing to be with you. They're not thinking about you at all. 
your feelings don't matter to them. You are just a puppet in their game, don't forget. And they've lost control of their puppet at this point, and that makes them angry. So they're going to have a mixed bag of emotions in stage two, which is going to start with panic and desperation. It's going to turn to anger, maybe even lashing out. And that brings me to number three. The third thing the narcissist will do when you go no contact is attempt to hoover you. They will eventually reach their breaking point and they will reach out to you. It'll probably start off small. Maybe you will hear from their friends through mutual acquaintances. You'll start hearing that the narcissist has asked about you. And that's a play on your emotions because you're going to interpret that as them caring about you and them having genuine feelings of love and concern about you. And that's where you're at risk of going back to them, which is why it's so important you block them so they can't reach you during this Hoover time because it's not that. All it is is them wanting their supply back. It's them wanting to win the game. Don't forget, this is not about genuine human emotion of love, respect, and caring. This is about winning a game. And the narcissist must win all the time at all costs. They will begin to text you. They will phone you. They will even show up at your house. And this happened to me. One of the times, and I'm sad to say I was hoovered back in, but this was long before I knew about narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I was on a six week silent treatment. And in my case, that was the magic number. When every time I tried to go no contact, which was before I even knew what no contact was, at the six week mark, without fail, the narcissist, my ex, would attempt to hoover me back. And every time up until the last time it worked. And he would show up at my house, knocking on my door. And, you know, that's very hard to resist. Because you're still in love with this person. And when somebody comes to your door face to face and is essentially begging for you to come back to them, that is very hard to turn away from. That is very hard to say no to. Even if you know that it's a Hoover, it's very hard to resist, which is why you must block them completely out of your life, which is what I did the last time. When I knew it was no contact for good and I was done with the relationship and I was sick and tired of being abused, I blocked his phone number, I blocked his email, I unfriended, I blocked every form of communication. You must make yourself a ghost to avoid the Hoover. The narcissist does not like to lose and they will stop at nothing to get you back for the sole purpose of winning. That should resonate with you and that should tell you why you should not allow yourself to be Hoovered, why you should not go back to the narcissist. It looks like love and it feels like love because the narcissist is a master of their game and that's the emotion they're going to play on. But it's not love. If it was love, they would have never left you for those days, weeks, or even months in the first place. People do not abandon people they love. They don't give them the silent treatment. They don't call them names. They don't belittle them. They don't hurt people they love intentionally and continue to do it over and over and over again. So these are just three general stages that the narcissist goes through when you go no contact. And it does hurt them. If you want to take a little piece that you are hurting them, that you are getting some revenge on them, it's, it's going to work by going no contact. I promise you that. Narcissists don't like to lose. 
And by you shutting yourself off to them, they are losing the biggest prize there is, their number one source of supply. And that is going to kill them inside. They are going to spin into desperation and panic and they are gonna to try to hoover you harder. I mentioned it in another video. After I had blocked my narcissist and we had been no contact for three or four months, I got a game request on words with friends from him because he had no other way to reach out to me and he was still trying after three months of no contact. That was the longest in 10 years we had ever gone no, no contact. So he was in desperation mode for sure. And I saw that game request come in and I just denied it. And that was the end. And then I blocked him from words with friends too. And that's what you have to do. You have to get strong and you have to get them out of your lives because you'll be so much happier once they're gone. You'll be so much healthier once they're gone. So I hope this video sheds some light on what happens when you go no contact. It's a very satisfying. It feels very good. I recommend it to you all. Don't wait for the discard. If you know this is happening, just break it off. Go no contact. Yes, I know it's easier said than done, but you can do it. I believe in you. Thank you for watching this video. If you don't already subscribe, please subscribe to Narcway today. You can also follow me on Instagram at Narcway. I love you all. See you in the next video.